All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect and the one third of the nation of Yasha Allah that's upholding the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Peace and salutations. This is the brother Bakwasha. And I just want to cover a couple of scriptures in transit. But uh obviously we can see Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is judging people, man. You know, and he's not gonna have any mercy. And why would he? For all of the atrocities that these other heathen nations and two thirds of our people have constantly been doing. Um, yeah, this judgment in itself, man, is going to be a harsh judgment. Slavery was harsh. Okay. Being in this captivity is harsh. Being in these chains of darkness is, is harsh. Okay. Having, uh, uh, heathens rule over us is harsh, right? So you, how about Shimei Oshai's judgment is going to be harsh as well, you know, and, and what's been done to our, our, our brothers. Okay through slavery okay these people are, are ramping up they're celebrating uh crystal ball cologne they're, they're about to celebrate uh uh the slaughter of, of gad and reuben you know they, they made all of the the things that have happened to our people uh they've celebrated it man and so you can best believe the the hopeful elect okay we're gonna celebrate yahweh by shimmy Shah destroying and 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 taking these heathens off the face of this earth, man. Because th this is a part of that recompense, you know. Scripture talks about that in in, in First Thessalonians, man, to recom re to recompense them that trouble thee, you know. First or second, so lock it, brothers. Like I said, I'm rolling. But m the point being here is this, man. The Lord has been fed up. Scripture talks about how um, the Lord is is no longer going to hold his tongue, man. You know, concerning the wickedness uh, of two thirds of our people, and especially, okay, these other heathen nations. Okay, so I just want to hit a couple quick scriptures that that popped into my mind, you know, through the Spirit, and uh, Lord will, you know, it'll be edifying. This is Second Ezra chapter six, verse eighteen. It says, and it said, behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And, and this is the form of Yahweh by Shemi Shah visiting the earth, man. Okay. Showing his power, showing his glory. Okay. Showing that no man can, can stop Yahweh by Shemi Shah from judgment. Okay. So. As scripture says, whoever perished being innocent, man. Anytime you see one of these these people off, you know, hey, hey, that's judgment, man. Okay? And 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 the reason why they're being judged is because things they have done in, in this lifetime or previous lifetimes. Okay? Because reincarnation is all through the Bible. You know, this is this is a spiritual. This is a spiritual volume uh, that 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 houses, okay, the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay, which is his testimony. He left his words for for the saints, the hopeful elect, to remember and recall these things to where we don't we we don't get fooled, we don't get blinded by this world, and 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 start voting and and, and worshiping this damn idol. Babylon, aka America, for for all of its wine and, and sorcery and doctrines that that have uh, beguiled the people. So like it, beguiled the people. That's a form of Yahweh by Shimei Yahushua visiting the earth, man. He left his he left the remnant here, okay, to to be witnesses, okay, of of, of the belief that we have in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay. To where we can tell these other heathen nations, not only is he returning, okay, and he's visiting the earth, 
Okay? But more and more bloodshed is going to happen. Scripture talks about how it's going to be up to the horse's bridle, man. Okay? So this is just a warm-up. Okay? E Esau can terrorize the whole earth. Okay? Literally have a global uh, pan D. Okay? And kill people. And nobody has a problem with it. Okay? So we don't have a problem with Yahweh Shem Yahweh often millions and millions and millions of heathens and two-thirds of our people, man. Okay? Next scripture. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged. Okay? The whole while, we, we've been trying through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, to awaken our people out of uh, out of that sleep, out of that slumber, okay. But two thirds not gonna get it, and we and we know damn sure for well, pursuing the Psalms, the fiftieth chapter, okay. The, these other heathen nations ain't gonna get it at all. It says that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give givest Salakia, so like and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name small and great okay that's why th there's there's the remnant that still believe on the names of Yahweh Yahweh Shai those names haven't changed those names ha haven't left the earth and it's talking to a specific group of people okay it says the reward is to the servants, it says, thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name. This world don't fear the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay? They try to tell you it's any other name except for that. So how can you fear a name if you're not, if you're not saying the proper name of the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Father's Son? Okay? And it says small and great. Okay? From 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 the least to the greatest, man. And this is the point. It says, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And that's none other than Esau, the so-called white man. Okay? At the tip of the spear. So yeah, man, hey. Hey, the Lord is bringing forth judgment, man, on, on every side, every corner. Scripture said he didn't come to uh, bring peace but a sword, man. Okay? People try to downplay the power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, and then, you know, when all these deaths occur, people are like, oh, my God, what happened? You know what happened. Okay? Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is judging this place. All right? This is James chapter 2, verse 13. It says, For he shall have judgment without mercy. Yahweh Shem Yahweh is not going to be merciful unto you heathen nations. He wasn't merciful unto us. Right? He, 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 scripture says that, that it pleased him to bruise Yahweh Shai. And that's his only begotten, man. Okay? But that goes to show you the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Which is, which is holy and righteous judgment, man. Because mercy in itself, oh, well, two things. One, scripture says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. <laughs> so, so it's optional. Okay? It's not anything that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has to have. Okay? He's showing mercy unto his hopefully elect right now. But he's not going to show any mercy to these damn heathens. It's going to be full-blown judgment. Okay? The full cup. The full measure. As scripture says, uh, uh, down to the dregs, man. Okay? You're going to drink that whole cup, Esau. And as scripture says, double. All right? It says, For he shall have judgment without mercy that hath showed no mercy. And none of you other heathens, nor two-thirds of our people, have ever showed mercy. 
to our people because you want to you you want to still be a byword and a proverb you still want to uh, uh, abide by black culture you still want to eat whatever the hell you want to eat which is which is direct rebellion against your how by shimmy i was shy you want to put up false idols okay <laughs> you want you want you want to worship the sun you know So you never showed any mercy towards Yahweh by Shimei Abishai saints. So what does the scripture say? And mercy rejoiceth against judgment because the only people that are going to have mercy are going to be the saints of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, the hopeful elect. Okay? No one else is going to have mercy. Yahweh by Shimei Abishai is not going to give anybody else mercy. Everyone else is going to get the full measure of judgment. So... As more and more judgment happens, as Babylon, because all of this real quick, all of that just shows prophecy being fulfilled. Okay. That's all it, that, that's why the prophets, one of the reasons why the prophets of the Lord, of the Lord are out on the highways and byways. Okay. To testify of Yahweh Shimei Abishai's prophecy, which is he was going to visit the earth. And he was going to destroy them that destroy the earth. They were going to be judged. And they were going to be judged without mercy. Okay. Because this is going all the way back from the beginning of time. All the things that, that these other heathen nations have done. Now it's going to get done unto you. So. Lord will this lesson was edifying for the elect. Until next time, Shalom.